Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and like I said, I'm back with another review, and today we're taking a look at from the Transformers, the Studio Series 86 line, this is Leader Class Slug, also known as Slag, and should be known as Slag, but unfortunately there are some countries where Slag is a foul word, we've gone through this before because this is our not our first time looking at a Triceratops Dinobot figure, also included with the figure is a retool, repaint, remold of uh, Wheelie that came with Grimlock, but this is now supposed to be Daniel Witwicky. And basically works the same way, can sit on top in dinosaur mode, has the posts in the legs, and there's a peg in the butt here. Well, actually, no, I'm sorry, back on the shin, so he can sit in the shoulder, but yeah, we've actually, now that we've seen that there's a transforming spike, I wouldn't be surprised to see if there's a transforming Daniel coming. I don't know really how they'll do that, since it would have to be smaller than core class, and I don't see them uh, doing that at a cheaper price point. But this is a really nice Triceratops, and it's a nice dinosaur mode in general. And after doing Sludge, it's nice to handle a figure that's not floppy, and I've noticed now, having the t handling the three original Dinobots, that there's like a, a common thread to their aesthetic, and it's basically you know hiding the legs, the the dinosaur legs, the you know that m sort of like transformation magic, folding things in, you know, and just giving you those clean silhouettes that I think really the designers were very good at. Um, much like Sludge. There is a post here in the mouth, so if you can do a blast effect. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the horns can handle a blast effect, which is a shame because uh, being able to shoot like a blast from the three horns here was actually a trademark of Slag back in the old cartoon. And it would have been nice instead of Daniel getting that like a specialized blast effect that could do that. But who knows? We might get in Legacy a, another troop uh, accessory kit figure repaint and it's going to have like the blast effects for the Dinobots or maybe their swords you know I know uh, Piog was a little nervous when he was reviewing Sludge that Hasbro might do a Generation Selects um, repaint of Swoop and that version will come with the swords but apparently if you say something and it's, it's like documented, they can't take other people's ideas. So that way now they won't do it. You know, because because remember, uh, the the four, you know, Grimlock, Sludge, Slag and Snarl were all had their chests repainted from well, actually and Swoop for the Transformers had their chests repainted from Diaclone. But in the cartoon, Swoop still used his blue chest plate uh, from Diaclone. So he always stood out in the cartoon. And as we saw with Power of the Primes, one of the first generation selects figures was that swoop with uh, the red chest piece. But other than that, you know, there's not much here. Articulation is, you know, the front arms are the robot arms. So you got all of that going on. And then the rear legs are kind of static, but of course they can move, but they're kind of fixed to that position. So really not much else to say in this, for this mode. Let's pause and get into the transformation. As always, I've adjusted the camera. Might have to adjust it a little more, but starting off, close up that dinosaur mouth and come around the back here to the tail where you will find that stored in the back is Slag's blaster. So we'll put that off to the side. And I do believe, yeah, it does have a little bit of a blast effect port there. Transformation actually isn't that bad. Um, first thing you want to do is fold up the rear legs and rot I think you can just leave them up like this with that nub sticking out. When we start unfolding the robot legs, we'll find out. But do it on both sides here. Next, what you want to do is come in and separate the hip, uh, the side flanks, which will form like the wings, and come back here and just lift up the tail, and that will basically, basically the tail pegs in to the feet here. There's two tabs here that go into the inside of what will be the robot mode legs, 
and there's little nubs here that go over the gold haunches here. Um, the instructions actually kind of show you uh, pegging the tail into the feet as one of the last steps. It actually, once you start pegging everything in, it just does it naturally so. And just go ahead and flip that out of the way to give you some space. Uh, now what you want to do is start to unfold the legs. And the first step is you want to pick up the feet here and you're going to bend them at what will be the lower knee joint so it looks like the Dinobot is sitting. And there's little tabs here on the back of the heels that fit into set notches here. Next, what you want to do is bring it down at the hip so you basically have a variation of a, a Dinobot doing the plank. And then finally, straighten the leg out at the top of this joint all the way that it goes over the red bit just like so. Don't worry, we'll adjust things once we get into a, a robot mode. Rotate it around here at the hip, at the, excuse me, at the waist. And now, to continue with the transformation, go ahead and flip up these panels here on the side. Flip down the feet. That's also with the ankle pivot. And now what you'll do is, ah, you want to rotate the leg so uh, these little nubbins are facing out. So just rotate it there on that side so they're facing towards the ground. Fold them in. Yeah, just about that. And then close these panels up. And then close the feet up. And the feet actually do peg into place, but they do come unpegged for uh, you know, the ankle articulation. Now we're coming up to the torso. And let me adjust the camera ever so slightly. I mean, it's a these 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 Dinobots become big boys, so it isn't going to be uh, all perfect, but I'll fix it up in the end for you. Uh, the first thing you want to do is pull down this front section, and now what we're going to do is you want to kind of bring the head, the dinosaur top of the dinosaur head back, separate these. Uh, uh, bits of the, the head shield there because now what you're going to do is rotate the chest section out. It is on a very tight double hinge that uh, both going both ways is very tricky to maneuver and you just want to make sure that it's all even and when going back to dinosaur mode you want to make sure that second joint where my finger is right there really tucks up underneath because that will help uh, getting everything secure and solid. Um, I'm not sure if they actually, they, there is a, actually a little tab there, so they do kind of friction together. So if you're having problems with this in Dinosaur more closing, just check to make sure if you have that lined up. So now the next step is you're going to come in here and push that dinosaur head back more, bring down this section. I think it will actually peg into the back. That's the lower jaw. And by doing that, you actually now free up, bringing up the robot mode head. So in a way, it, 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 there's a fake jaw, but then it kind of works the same way. Bring the head back down. There's a little, it'll fit into some sections there. And then you can close this up and that will tab into place. And there you, oh, and I for, almost forgot to mention that there were um, those little side bits that were on the arm. You want to fold them back. I did that while I was talking about uh, the shoulder chest, the shoulder sections. And so we're actually just about done. Bring the arms down. Come around the back here. There are two tabs on the back of the uh, head shield horn section that you're just going to friction in uh, to the wings. This gold section, oh, before you do that, that gold section is going to come up underneath. So, yeah, just work that in there's like a there's a groove here where my finger is that a couple notches on that tail go into so that works like that and then you just bring up the tail like that that actually pegs somehow into place i'm really not sure what it's connected to but 
There we go. Drain out the legs a little. And finally, for the arms, press on the little tab there. That will help flip up and rotate the fist around. There are double joints there in the elbow. Do the same on this side. And of course, like on mine, if it's a little hard, you can always use the gun. <laughs> but it is nice that, that that tab is there to help you get the arm started. And presto changeo, we have slag in its robot mode. Let's go ahead and add the gun. And how about we do a little camera adjusting? Try and get him all in his beefcake beefiness. See if I can zoom out a little. Oh, oh wrong way. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. And This isn't me making noises, it's actually the uh, the tripod. But there we go. I think we ended up where we started off. It, like I said, it's a very tall figure. Um, I have it like all the way back against my uh, backdrop there. And I'm trying not to show the sides where the gaps are and stuff. But holds his weapon. Um, beefy ratchet joints. In the legs, hips, knees. Uh, we saw the ankle articulation. We saw the waist articulation for the transformation. Make sure this is... Uh, just back a little. There we go. Uh, you know, the head is on a ball joint, but it's a little limited due to the design. Uh, those little pieces will pop up every now and then. But yeah, fun little thing. And on either arm, but we're going to use this one, there's a hole. And you can just go ahead and peg Daniel, or nondescript human ally to the uh, Transformers, in just like that. So yeah, again, great transformation. Love the leg transformation, how it really does fill in the back here with all those joints. And, you know, it's just like a, a, a nice, beefy Dinobot. And I've said this before with Grimlock. Um, I don't know how they can do Masterpiece Dinobots now. For me, this is it. The What I'm terrified of thinking about is that they're going to do Masterpiece Dinobots and they're going to be like panely fiddly messes where these these are perfect these are what i think most collectors would want from their dinobots leader scale big beefy chunky um and they look close enough to the animation there's what you see and what you remember and i think this is a nice combination of what i see what i remember you know this is you know like like we we remember the dinobots with swords but actually in the cartoon, they never use them. So that's that thing. But yeah, so how about we pause and we come back with my final thoughts. Again, like the other Dinobots, Slag comes with this uh, backdrop. That's, I guess, that generic blue wall, I think somewhere in the uh, on the Quintesson homeworld. But um, as always, I like to end using... The bat bringing the backdrop in and giving you this final close up shot that I often use as the uh, thumbnail image on the videos. But I love slug or sl well, slag, but you know, remember on the shelves, you're going to look for slug. Um, great figure. Obviously, Daniel's going to go back into the packaging just because I have no use for it in my display. Um, and really, coming back from Sludge, as I said in the beginning, it's nice to feel a solid figure. Chunky. I mean, what you saw here and what you heard, that's what I should have been experiencing and what we all should be experiencing from Sludge. Now, by this point, if you haven't picked up Slug, I don't know what to tell you. 
it might still be on shelves, but I've, chances are probably not. And apparently these Dinobots are shooting up in price and value. Grimlock is like teetering a little bit over a hundred dollars. So there's that. Um, obviously with Sludge, you're going to want the whole set. We know Snarl is coming, and apparently Swoop is going to be the last one. But here's the kicker. I'm not 100% sure if those two are going to be part of the Studio Series line. They've said they're going to get the Dinobots out. They didn't say how. So I would say for the original three, you know, to be all together and unified in the Studio Series line, I think having Slug, Slag, is the best, you, you know, is a necessity. So that's about it. If you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe. Helps with the algorithms. This is your old pal Chuck for Slug or Slag and little Daniel Witwicky. We will see you next time.